Hi, Steve Stoning with another Steve Stoning short and sweet video training session. Today's lesson is on appointment driven communications, the talk tracks, the words, the discipline, the how, the why, and the what you need to say in order to truly drive an appointment culture in your dealership. Now, if you haven't attended my Creating an Appointment Culture class, or you haven't watched the video for Creating an Appointment Culture, I encourage you to watch that first. So go back to Creating Appointment Culture, watch the videos, and then come on back and learn about appointment-driven communication. Now, there are a lot of keys to appointment-driven communication, but the one that I want you to think about first is think about the dentist. What if I had a dentist appointment today at, say, 9.15? Around 10, 10, 15, I'd probably come out of the, the uh, back there where I was uh, getting my teeth cleaned. I'd go to the receptionist and she would hand me a, a card. It looks like a business card. And she would say to me, hey, Steve, uh, how does, and she'd pick a day six months from now. So let's say, how does July 19th work? And I'd say, July 19th works great. And she'd say, how about 915? And I would pick up my iPhone or whatever and look at my calendar and, I, you know, who has something scheduled six months from now, right? I'd say 915 is great. And she would write 915 and July 19th on this card, give this card to me. I'd take the card home. Uh, when I got home, I would put it into my uh, calendar. And even though I travel a lot, do a lot of training, you know, there's a 90% chance that I'm going to keep that appointment. There is a 90% chance that I'm going to keep an appointment for, say, a $30 teeth cleaning for six months from now. I'm going to block out my schedule. I'm going to protect that day. I'm not going to let anything hit my schedule that's going to keep me from keeping that dentist appointment six months from now. I said a 90% chance, but you know what? There's a 100% chance that if I need to change that appointment, I will call them as soon as I know in order to change it. Now, there's two reasons for that. One, I've committed to this appointment, right? I'm going to keep my word. And two, and this is something we can't do in the car business, but you know, it's $30 if I go get my teeth cleaned. It's $45 if I miss the appointment and don't call them in advance. And so I'm going to keep that appointment 90% of the time because it's a hassle to change it. But if I do have to change it, I'm going to let them know right away. So when you think you have an appointment culture, ask yourself, would people keep their appointments the same as they would at a dentist? And if the answer is, well, no, you know, people sometimes arrive two hours late for appointments or they arrive an hour early, then you don't have an appointment culture. Think about that. Think about the dentist office. What if I rolled in two hours late, right? On July 19th, I rolled in at 1115. What would they say to me? They'd say, Steve, come on back another day. How about this? How about when she handed me that card and said, how does July 19th work? And I said, it works great. And she says, how's 915? And I said, well, you know, 915, I don't know about the morning. How late y'all open? And she, she'd say something like, well, we're open until 430. What if I came back to her just like your customers do today and said, well, then I'll see you before 430. See, she would say get a new dentist because they don't work that way. Dentists have an appointment culture. Now you can have an appointment culture as well. Think about this. You're selling a thirty dollars or $45,000 car, right? And you don't think people will keep an appointment for six hours from now, yet those same people will keep an appointment for six months from now for a $30 teeth cleaning. It's because the dentist office has an appointment culture and you don't. Now, let's think back very quickly. We're gonna, you need to go watch Creating an Appointment Culture if you want all these stats again and wh why they're important. But let's remember what the opportunity is for appointments, why it's important to have a true appointment culture. We taught you in Creating an Appointment Culture that the average dealer closes 20%, actually 9 to 20% of their traditional ups. But those same dealers close 50%, if they're average, 50% of their internet appointments that show. They close 60% of their owner marketing appointments. They close 67% of their be back appointments. And we've got dealers today who are doing the perfect appointment and they're closing 80% of all appointments that show month in, month out. So the opportunity for appointments is great, right? It's, you're gonna close it four times better. Most people who, who schedule appointments in the car business are closing people beginning to end from the time the customer arrives on the lot till they drive away in 90 minutes or less. Now compare that to the three or four hours or sometimes five and six hours that some car deals take at your dealership. It's just not a good uh, experience for your customers. So. Your question has to be, now, Steve, I'm all in. How do I get appointments? And we'll talk about that in part two.